everybody. I'm gonna give it a couple minutes for um, somebody, some people to join us here. I know I'm out like a few minutes early today. We're in my kitchen today. We're in a little bit of a different spot, so bear with me. <laughs> Got one on there, awesome. Let me see what time it is. Okay, yeah, I definitely am a couple minutes early, so I'm gonna give everybody a little bit of time to get on here. Got four, awesome. Alright, so I'll start going over, let's see here, I'm still really early, okay, I have five of you, okay, so I'll just start going over about what you need for today's project. If you've been following my posts, you kind of already know what you'll need for today, but I'm just going to go over it. So, I tried to make these projects more around household stuff, stuff that you might have laying around, sitting around. That way you guys don't have to be running to the stores to get stuff because we're trying to keep everybody inside and busy inside instead of running all over the place. So that's what all of my crafts here in the next couple weeks are going to be kind of directed towards things that you might find around your house or just might have. So today you'll need a glass bottle or mason jar or any type of glass. It can be even a glass cup if you want. If you have an old glass cup, cup, that's okay, you can use that too. So anything glass, this is an old wine bottle, okay? Um, you'll need some food coloring. I figured everybody probably has at least one color of food coloring around their house somewhere. So I think this is just from like Walmart. So that's just the food coloring. And I will be using blue. You guys can use any of the colors out of here or mix your own color, that's fine. I just like how the blue looks, it's my favorite. I've done the other colors and I just don't care for them. So I'm gonna be using blue, but if you wanna use a different color, you can do that. Aw, hi babe, <laughs> my husband's watching <laughs> with his coworker it looks like, awesome. <laughs> All right, you'll need a plastic cup or you know, a couple of them if you're doing more than one color. So kind of like, just like Easter eggs. Just think about this how like you would do Easter eggs. So you would need a cup for each color. If you're doing like a different, like say you're doing three different jars or three different bottles, you'll want three different cups so you can mix three different colors. But I'm only doing one. All right. And I, <laughs> if you guys know me, I don't measure. I just dump things in and hopefully it works out. <laughs> so I did kind of measure yesterday when I made one real quick just to make sure it's gonna work for this video. So, once again, it's just food coloring, water, and Mod Podge. It's not like you're using a great big amount of each one. If you want to measure, you can. I technically don't, but um, I did use just a tablespoon size. So, we'll go over that. And then, you will also need, I'm going to turn you guys here towards my counter. You will also need, this is my one from yesterday. I'm not going to waste this because it will still get me through today. So, this is just parchment paper. All right, and then you'll need a cookie tray. If you have like a crappy cookie tray, maybe use that just in case the uh, food coloring gets on it. That way you're not ruining a good one. So doing that. And then this is just my workstation one. And then I have another one over here that I'm gonna use in the oven. So you also need your oven. Don't mind my beautiful oven. This thing, is, this thing came with the house when I bought it <laughs> and I refuse to get rid of it until I buy a new house. So. Fingers crossed, hopefully it's not gonna be like my hair dryer and decide to like quit on me today. Okay, so I just put it to about um, 220, 200. I just set the oven to. I'm just gonna put it at 200. It should be fine at 200. All right, so I'm gonna let that warm up. Awesome, I have quite a few of you on here. That's good, that's awesome. Hi, Connie. <laughs> Um, I am making, let me get it for you guys. 
this is what I'm making today are the tinted glass jars. So this is just a regular clear mason jar and we're tinning the jars or bottles, whatever you have at home. We're just tinning them blue or whatever color of food coloring you wanna use. So you'll need food coloring and it doesn't matter. You can use any of these colors. I'm just doing blue cause I like blue or you could mix them and make like a purple or a pink or whatever. And um, let's see. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Um, I don't know how pretty my house is right now. It's kind of messy. I've, I haven't had time to decorate. So I've been busy between work and the videos that I just kind of my decoration. I just took down, you guys are going to laugh at me. I just took down, I had garland like with deer antlers and like pine cones and stuff like that for Christmas. I just took that down before the video. <laughs> so I'm not even going to lie. My house needs decorated. It's bad. <laughs> All right, um, so you also need a plastic cup. I know I just went over this, but a couple more of you joined me. So glass bottle, glass cup, something that you don't want to use to drink out of or eat out of. Do not eat out or drink of these. Drink out of these after we're done with today's project because you are using glue. So you don't want to you don't want to consume that. So clear bottle, a cup. If you're doing more than one bottle, one for each color. Um, you'll need food coloring, and you'll need. Oh, knocking things over already a plastic spoon if you're like me and don't want to measure you don't need a measuring thing but I measure just so I have something to say and tell you guys okay this is one tablespoon or teaspoon I'm sorry teaspoon teaspoon not tablespoon teaspoon not that it matters anyway okay and then you'll need um, parchment paper an older cookie tray if you have one just in case because this can stay in your cookie tray if you get this on here and then I also have another one for my oven, along with parchment paper, too. All right. Okay, guys. Let's see here. All right. So what I'm going to do first, let me see. I got a couple more comments. Let me make sure I don't have any questions. Kitchen stew. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad I'm not the only one who had Christmas decorations up. <laughs> Let's see. Hi, Derek. <laughs> and Liz, if you're watching. <laughs> I'm not quite sure if Liz is working still or not. <laughs> Um, okay, so we will mix um, some food coloring. Like I said, I'm going to use the blue if you're doing this with me. Um, that's awesome. If you have any questions, let me know. So I'm going to actually, let me measure out this first. Oh, and you'll need Mod Podge or glue. It does not matter. I'm just using Mod Podge because I don't really have any Elmer's glue. But if you have Elmer's glue, that's fine too. Or any type of, like, I call it kid glue because <laughs> it's like the white like stuff you use when you're little so that's the type of stuff you can use or Mod Podge I have my main supply of Mod Podge here oh boy I didn't think about this I always glue this thing shut on myself hang on okay there we go all right so I'm gonna take a teaspoon all right, and yes, a teaspoon should be enough to do this whole bottle. All right, so a teaspoon of Mod Podge or Elmer's glue or any type of this type of glue that you have. All right, Angie, we are making the tinted glass jars or bottles today. So this was just a clear mason jar. We're going to go ahead and tint this big glass wine bottle um, just like that, nice and pretty blue. So you'll just need food coloring, a cup to mix in, some Mod Podge or Elmer's glue, and um, cookie sheet with some parchment paper on. All right. A lot of my stuff stuck in there, so I'm just going to add a little bit more. I'm not going to sit here and scrape it out of there. Okay. So that's pretty good. And then I'm going to add just a couple drops of my food coloring. And this just depends on how dark you want your jar to be. So think of it as kind of like if you were with me when I did the video of my coffee filter flowers, remember how we mix the food coloring to make them different colors? We put like five or six drops in compared to one or two. And that just depends on how dark you want your jar. So let me see. I think these here are a little different, so I can kind of explain it to you. Uh, it might look the same on here. So this one here, I used a little bit more, more drops of blue in it 
And then I did this one. This one's not as blue as this. All right, so it just depends on how blue you want it. And it's gonna look dark when you mix it, but that's okay. It'll lighten up after we put it in the oven. All right, so I am gonna add a tiny, like a tiny bit of water. I'm gonna turn you guys over here because I just add a couple drops. Actually, I'm just gonna bring the water to you because this camera's not gonna turn the whole way around. Okay, I'm just gonna use another cup here. Okay, so you do not need to water this down a lot. You just need a tiny, like a drop or two of water. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. There we go. I'm gonna get my spoon. I just wanna make sure it's a good consistency before I start adding in the drops. All right, so I think I added a little bit too much. Okay, so this is kind of good. I can try show you guys. This is gonna be too watery, all right? So I'm just gonna add in a tiny bit more glue or Mod Podge, whatever you're working with until I get this consistency right. Still a little watery. Oh, I put a lot of water in there. This is my part, this is my downfall. I don't measure anything, I'm terrible. Totally terrible. I should have sat here and figured it out, and I didn't. <laughs> I'm like too impatient to measure stuff, so. All right. It's getting there, almost. I'm afraid to add too much now. All right, so that should be good. All right, so there's quite a bit in there. That's a, that's a better consistency. Okay, so that's not as runny. It's kind of clumpy now, and you can kind of stop it from dripping, so that's good. All right, so that's kind of what you're looking for because you want it to be able, you still want it liquidy. You don't want it in a big chunk because then you're not gonna be able to coat the bottle. All right, so now I'm just gonna add a couple drops of, I'm gonna wipe my hand off first, I have glue everywhere. I'm messy. You guys know me, I'm always messy. Okay, so a couple drops here of the blue or whatever color you're using. I'm gonna make it pretty dark just so it shows up good on the video. Oops, okay, there we go. All right, and I used a clear cup so you guys could see this, but Mod Podge is taking it all up. Okay, there we go, now we're getting it. Make sure you're mixing it very, very well. All right, and remember the, wa the water and the dye, the food coloring, they're both watery. So that glue is still a tiny bit watery, but you still want that consistency. So if you add your drops and see that it's really, really watery, go back and add a little bit of glue. You kind of just have to balance it out a little bit. And it doesn't have to be perfect. All right. So I think that's pretty good. I still have that consistency. All right, so it looks good to me. Hopefully I have enough, we're gonna find out. This stuff goes a long way. Every time I mix this, I'm like, oh, I hope I have enough of it. And then it ends up being like over what I need. Okay, so <laughs> awesome, Angie. I'm glad I'm not the only one that doesn't measure things. I'm like, this is why I'm a terrible cook. Like I can't cook like at all. Like I am not, I just don't understand it. There's too many like measurements. There's too many like throw this amount in of this. And I'm like, I just, just want to eat. I just <laughs> want to eat something. So I'm terrible. That's how I am with my crafting too. All right. So I'm going to kind of direct you guys towards my countertop. All right. So you can kind of see how this is done. Sorry. My phone thing doesn't work too well on my countertop. So hopefully it doesn't fall down in the middle of all this. Okay. I'm going to turn this light on so you guys can see. All right. So I have my cup here and you definitely want to have something down on the space that you're working on because if not, you can stain your countertop. So Please be careful, all right? If you're doing this on your good countertops, put something down, work over a tray, okay? All right, so I'm going to dump this in this bottle, all right? Without trying to make a disaster. So what we're doing, instead of the outside of the bottle being coated, it's the inside of it. So it's a little different than what I have been doing with paint and everything. This is definitely a little bit different. This is just gonna be the inside of here. Okay, so I might need more, I don't know. We'll go from here. All right, 
So make sure your bottom's coated. You can kind of look at the, oops, I'm holding that way too high for you guys to see. So my bottom is completely coated. So now I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna actually put something, I definitely dyed my hand yesterday doing this, so I'm gonna use this cloth. Make sure you're holding something over the top of this bottle because if you accidentally spill this, it's gonna go everywhere and you're gonna have dye everywhere. So you wanna lightly and slowly just roll that dye, I call it dye, food coloring, paste, whatever you wanna call it, colored paste, I should say, in that bottle until that whole bottle is coated. So this does take a little bit of time and patience. You don't wanna miss any spots or they won't be covered. So you're just gonna keep going, keep going. Oops, missing a spot there, there we go. And I might need to mix more of this. I thought I had enough, but apparently I don't. Okay. There we go. There's some. So it just takes a thin coat, as you guys can see, but it just, it works slowly, unfortunately. Come on. There we go. I never tried this with more than one color. I bet it would be kind of cool. You know, if you didn't mix them too much to make like a one color, if you just kind of put them in there, maybe, I don't know, shook the bottle or something and then put it in the oven. I think that would be kind of cool too. All right, so I'm going to let this set for a second. I am going to mix a little bit more here. There's quite a bit in here, but it's just sticking to the sides. So just give me one second here, guys. If I can find my little measuring spoon. Oh, it's down in my glue. That's great. Okay. Got to remember, I haven't made these for a while. I made them like three years ago with my mom and, and her friend. And I haven't really made them since then. So I did like a test run last night just to refresh myself. And then, of course, I forgot I was actually making mason jars instead of a big glass bottle. So, all right. A little bit of water. And some more dye here real quick. Just whipping some more of this color up for my bottle. Okay, that looks like that'll be good. Once again, I'm like a three-year-old. I make a complete mess. My husband's probably cringing right now. He's probably thinking, oh my gosh, she's gonna get food coloring everywhere. When I come home, I'm gonna have to replace the countertops. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, awesome, Angie. Let's see here. Don't I'm like missing your guys' comments because I'm I have the phone turned away from me. Hi mom. <laughs> yes, Jesse. My husband's calming on here. He's saying I would burn cereal. Yes, that is 100 percent true. I'm not even gonna, gonna gonna deny that. He is completely correct about that. I um my coworkers make fun of me because I made chocolate chip cookies the one day. And um I don't get the concept of adding slowly when you're using a mixer and it blew up all over my kitchen. I had chocolate chips. I was finding chocolate chips for weeks. They, they just laughed at me. It was, they still make fun of me for it. All right, so I'm gonna dump more in here. Ooh, slowly, I'm going overboard. There we go. Hopefully you guys can see that, yeah. All right. Awesome. Okay, and then just back to coating that. Just making sure, there we go, that's working better. Just making sure, that might be two separate blues, but it'll, it should look okay. That. And you're just working your way down. Hopefully I'm holding this so you guys can see. I should be holding it better here. There we go. And it's just kind of like till you hit the very top of your bottle. I definitely hold a towel or something at the end of this because I am getting stuff at the end here. So, good. I missed a spot there, so I'm just going back to get it real quick. There we go. If you guys have kids at home, I am going to do, I don't have kids, so it's kind of hard for me to to keep up on what crafts and stuff kids like to do nowadays, or even if they like to do any 
Um, but I am going to have some sort of child or kid craft next week. Uh, just because my hours are a little bit less at work, I have more time. So I figured, you know, if you guys have kids, why not direct a couple of these towards the kids and we can have fun with that too. So my coworker brought it to my attention today. She's like, don't you do anything for kids? And she's like, maybe you should try one for kids since all the kids are home. So I am going to um, do one of the things that she actually told me about, I think, which is a really cool idea. So I'll get all the um, supply list and everything ready for you guys for that. If you do have kids and would like to do something um, crafty with them, I will have that available next week. Not sure what day, but I will be getting that scheduled together. All right, so I'm almost done here. There's a little spot there I'm waiting for. I'm definitely getting some out of the bottom here. Just making sure it's all covered. Gonna tap that and make sure I get everything down. Okay, good. All right, so now this is the tricky part because you don't want to dump this on yourself, but you want to get, especially if you're doing it in a bottle. Whoops, hang on. I might have lost it for a second. My battery's low. Let me plug you guys in real quick so I don't lose ya. All right. And there we go. Maybe. Yeah, my charging. I think so. Hopefully, right? Okay. All right. Okay. So I'm going to just finish, but like I was saying, just make sure you're getting this coated here, okay? Hopefully there's enough in here to do that. I'm gonna find out. Yeah, there is. Okay, so if you look, that is coming down. It's hard to do, to show you guys. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I keep moving this. It's slowly going, so I must have just had just enough of that paste mixed. Let me see if I can add a little bit more here. Come on. There we go. All right. Almost there. My dog's whining in the background. If you hear noise, that's what it is. <sighs> so close, come on. Sometimes that helps. I pretend that it helps anyway. I don't know if it really does. <laughs> I'll actually do this. So you guys can see how messy this can actually get. I'm just kind of letting the rest of this drain out here. And I do see a spot that's driving me nuts. I'm just going to use my extra stuff here to go back and get it real quick. Alright. Okay, I got it. That looks good. Alright, so by now your oven should definitely be preheated. Or if you're just starting this and you missed the beginning of this video, that's okay. Just set your oven to 200 is what I set mine to. It should be fine. You don't need it very hot. It, it, this goes pretty quickly. And of course, I picked a warm day to do this, like to turn on the oven. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to let this kind of drain out. I'm just going to get a new cup here. Oh, I guess I could just let it sit on the paper. All right, so I'm just gonna turn the bottle upside down here and let it drain for a couple seconds, all right? Because we don't want all that extra stuff in there. We do want it to come out just a little bit. We don't want to put it in the oven and have a disaster. All right, let me see what comments here I didn't get back to yet. All right, let's see. <laughs> Angie, you burn water. <laughs> So do I. <laughs> messy part. Yep, mom, the messy part. My mom's done this with me a couple of times, and it's just, it is, it's very messy. 
It's a messy project. All right, so look at all that extra stuff coming out of that bottle. Isn't that funny? How you just try to coat that and there's nothing in there and then all of a sudden there's a whole bunch. So definitely if you do this, please let this sit upside down to drain for a minute or two. And that kind of helps evenly coat this too. Oh, you guys can't see, there we go. It helps kind of evenly coat it too. So, you know, not only are you getting all that extra stuff out, you're saving your pan, because if you, if you put this in the oven now, you're gonna have all this extra color and paste just bubbling out. So you wanna make sure that you're getting pretty much of it out. You just wanted the bottle coated and we're just letting that set. I'm still getting pretty much out of there, so. It's crazy how much is actually in there. It doesn't even look like I had that much in my cup earlier. <laughs> I'm gonna clean up my Mod Podge while I'm waiting a little bit. Definitely made a mess with that. I do like having my kitchen sink here. This is nice. I could get used to doing my projects out here. All right. All right, so I am, I'm gonna tote you guys up here. I am going to put my other paper this is my my other tray with parchment paper i am going to put this in the oven you don't want to try to put the bottle on top of it and put it in the oven because it'll just fall over so you can get your tray and get it ready to put in the oven here hopefully i should bring this rack down actually one second here and check on this bottle real quick still getting pretty much out of there awesome so I already had a couple of you make the books and that's awesome that I did last night um, I had a viewer Lori she posted a picture of a of everything she redid she had like a little dresser thing and then she had the book and the candlesticks and she did also one of those uh, butter dish and salt and pepper shaker things and it looked awesome so I'll be sharing her picture probably either later tonight or tomorrow um, so I can't wait if you guys have things that you want to share on here and just just share them on a comment and then you know I can post them for you so definitely I want to see what you guys are doing almost done Little by little, I'm getting less and less out of this, so that's good. Paper towel. I always run out of paper towels when I need them, so let's grab this one because I'll need it here. And a puddle out of there. All right, so it stopped dripping, as you guys see. Okay, so I think we're safe to put that back in the oven now. Hopefully, we'll see. Whatever's in there will bubble out, but I don't feel like I'm getting a ton out of there anymore. All right, so I am going to take my paper towel and I am just going to. Whew, there's a bubble right at the end there. I'm just going to wipe right around this to clean it up a tiny bit it's not going to stay clean but at least you're not dripping by the time you get to the oven so all right I'm turning you guys this way and I am going to put this in the oven just how I had it set in here so I'm putting it like this oh I'm dripping again okay I'm putting it in the oven like this because you want the bottom of the bottle you want that extra stuff to come out so you don't want to turn it this way and put it in if you turn it this way and put it in it's just going to bubble and burn at the bottom of here so you want it to be able to bubble out all right so i'm going to throw this in real quick 
after it just stopped dripping, it's starting again. So let me see. Mason jars work a little bit quicker just because there's not as much liquid in them to coat them. So if you're doing a bottle, it does take a little bit of time. Okay. All right, that should be good. take you guys over here just to show you okay so let me flip my camera around sorry I'm making you dizzy I always forget how to flip my camera there we go all right so that's how I have it setting in there all right don't mind my old oven <laughs> but that's how it's setting and I'll actually let you guys just watch this um it should be okay with this open let me see Actually, I'm going to close it. I don't know if you guys can see in there. You probably just see my reflection. Nope, you can't see. Okay. I will watch it, and I'll turn you around when I think it's getting there. But what you're waiting to see right now is it, there's like a fog in that bottle that will actually disappear. So you're waiting for that fogginess to disappear and the glass to become clear again is what you're waiting for just peek because it does happen pretty quickly All right so if you guys look it's still foggy it's not clear at all it's what you're seeing all right kind of foggy i'm wishing it would do it when i have you guys on camera here so you can see All right, let me shut it for a couple minutes here. We'll give it a second. <sighs> but yeah, this is a kind of neat project, something to do. Figured everybody has food coloring and probably a, some type of glass bottle or something. <laughs> I'm very impatient, so I'm just gonna keep opening my oven. <laughs> okay, nope, oh, still in there. Hi, lady. You want to say hi to everybody? Can you say hi? She's looking like, uh, I don't even know who I'm talking to, Mom. <laughs> I tried to get, get her to say hi to my husband when he calls me on FaceTime, and she has no clue what the phone is. She doesn't understand it. <laughs> oh, my. Okay. Let's see. Nope. Still foggy. Turn you guys around here. Still pretty foggy. You can see sometimes they have imperfections in them, which is fine. It gives them kind of like a neat look. So don't freak out if you see that. It's cool. It's not even really bubbling out of the bottom yet. So I am going to close this for a little while. I see you. What's wrong? Huh? What's wrong? <laughs> I know. I know. All right. I'm going to put you guys back up here for a couple minutes so I'm not walking around making you dizzy. So we have a few minutes. Has anybody been working on anything exciting? Big dog, like I do. Oh, that's awesome, Angie. Yeah, she is a um, Great Dane lab mix. Yeah, she's she's a big dog. <laughs> I'm just glad she got more of these. Oh, baby. I'm glad she got, that's my bottle, so let me pick that up. I'm glad she got more of the lab mix than the uh, Great Dane. All right, Boog, let's turn this over. It's not that hot, so. All right, I'm going to put that back in there. It's actually easier, believe it or not, if you guys have more than one bottle that you're doing at a time they hold each other up in the oven so it's actually a little bit easier I'm gonna close that really slowly if you have more than one i'm gonna actually just stick another clear one in there with it to hold it up Should be okay. All right. All right. So I just stuck 
chuck another jar in with it just so it kind of holds it up a little bit. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, so she's a big dog too. That's awesome. I, when I went looking for a dog, I lived by myself for about a year. I wasn't dating anybody. I wasn't living with anybody. I was by myself. And finally, I was like, okay, I, I'm situated. I have my house. I have everything here that I need. It's time for a dog. <laughs> so I ended up going to the shelter, and I had one picked out. And um, they, I, from my understanding, he was potty trained and everything. With my job, I didn't want a puppy. I wanted an older dog. And um, I went back to the next day to get him, and they told me that he wasn't potty trained. So I ended up going to a different shelter and finding her, which was a blessing in disguise because she's amazing. Um, dog. She's just, she's funny. But they asked me how big of a dog I wanted. And I was like, well, I don't know, like nothing huge, but I didn't want a small dog. And they brought her out and I was like, I just fell in love. I was like, I have to take her home with me. <laughs> there we go again. <laughs> I think what's happening is it's bubbling out and it's toppling over, so... down it should do the same thing I think I never struggled with this so much of course I went on my videos all right let me grab something here I think it's because my tray is actually uneven I think that's why this is happening definitely why this is happening. My tray is kind of bowed. These are cheap, cheap cookie trays. My tray is bowed. So, all right. Let's try this again. I'm just going to keep doing it until it's done. We might hear a couple things falling, but it's okay. All right. This is starting to get pretty warm. Ouch. Just burnt myself. All right. So you can kind of see how that is. You can see the steam, and then you can see this stuff, how it is bubbling over. So I'm going to actually wipe this off while I have it out, and while it's still hot. It'll be less of a mess for me to clean up after it's done. And you can kind of see how it's, that fog is going away just a tiny bit. Okay, there we go. I wiped it off, so that's good. All right. open just a tiny bit so I can keep an eye on it. It's still hot enough in there. All right, let's see. Let's go. The John I found my nose. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, it's sad that you lost your lab, and and I did too. I lost. We had a black lab. She was. Oh boy, I don't even remember, like 11, 12, I don't know, my mom probably would remember. And um, she she died of cancer, so it took me a while, and then we got another dog, and then we, after I left my mom and dad's house, I ended up getting her. But it is, they're like your ch child, it's, it's so hard when you lose them, like so hard. <laughs> I hate that feeling. Uh, let's see, yeah mom, I did that. Yeah, it didn't work though. <laughs> That's what I said. When you have more than one bottle in there, they actually hold each other up. So, this one's tricky. I should have thought this through a little bit better. Should have done a mason jar. Alright, so that that's what was knocking it over. So, I'll just kind of show you guys over here on my little tray. So what was happening in the oven was that tiny little bottle opening, the top of that bottle was not letting that air out. So it was knocking it over. When it was getting full of air, it was knocking it over. So 
when you're having it sit there, you need room for that extra paste, that colorful paste to air out and for the air to come out. And that's why it was randomly tipping over. So every once in a while, I'm going to open that oven door and just kind of tilt the bottle back, release that air, and then just tilt it back. And then that should be good. But that's what's happening. I, I do think I have a ghost, but I don't think the ghost is the problem today. <laughs> Let's see. Hi, Joss. Yes, I am doing the awesome tinted jars. The blue tinted jars. Pretty cool. <laughs> um, Connie, it doesn't really take long. The bottles take longer. Honestly, this mason jar was done within like a minute. It didn't. Excuse me, I hiccups. Didn't take long at all for the mason jars. For the big glass bottles, the heavy ones, the thicker ones, it's going to take a little bit longer. Let me see if this is the fogginess is clearing up yet or not. Oh, it is. Okay, perfect. So this is a good one to show you guys. See how all of that fogginess is actually coming out of the bottle now. That's what we want to see. All right. And I could have probably turned my oven up. That might have actually helped. I only have it on 200. All right, so I am going to ooh, knock that over again so I couldn't grab it. One second. I need more hands. <laughs> no, lady, you're fine. Sounds like a horrible, horrible thing happening in my kitchen right now. Okay. So, what I did was just release the extra air out of the bottom of that, but there you go. So, I'm going to shut this again. It'll probably end up falling again to release that air. <laughs> so, I swear, I never had this problem before today. Every time I get on the camera, it's something new. It's like, no matter how many times I do it when I'm not on the camera, it's fine. And then when I start taping, it's like a disaster. So, you know, you guys see like the worst of it. What are you doing out there? You getting in the garbage? Yeah. Dog's getting in the garbage. I right hear. I know she is. Let's see. <laughs> um, just a little bit of everything. You know how I am. This is the kitchen. This is like the forbidden place for me. <laughs> so anytime I'm in the kitchen, it's a disaster. A complete disaster. No, you don't need anything. You're good. Alright, so every couple minutes I am going to open that up and just tilt that bottle back and tilt it back up just to release that air. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> yes, yeah, Justine, I need backup. My husband is away. <laughs> He's probably mad panicking. He probably has like the emergency 911 on the speed dial right now because he knows I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. You have another dog, too. That's so cute. Oh, 13 years old. Wow, Angie. Oh, I bet they're so cute. <laughs> See? I heard it. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's awesome, though. Here, I'll show you guys. Okay. So that is... See how clear that's becoming? Now, this is a thicker bottle, and maybe that's why it has something to do with it. If you look, this glass is actually really, really thick. It's not just the normal. So I'm going to put it back in there. And if you get stuff on the side of it, like right there, we'll wipe that off later. Let me try this again. I'm going to try to surround it again with jars, but I think it's just going to be a bigger crash when it falls over, to be honest. I'm going to use one of my jars from yesterday. Okay. You're fine, lady. No, this just doesn't want to set at all because I took it out. Clean this off again. And you can see all that goo that's drying on there just because I keep taking this in and out of the oven because so it keeps falling over. Okay. Maybe you guys 
you'll have better luck than me. I hope so. I'm going to end up burning myself really badly. That's what I'm going to do. It's not working. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it in there, tilt it over. I'm not going to actually set it back up because I'm afraid it's just going to keep going again and again. Okay. Take this out. All right. Okay, so I just laid it. Ooh, my battery again. Sorry, I hope I didn't lose you guys there for a second. My battery's low again. All right, so this video is not going in my favor today at all. <laughs> um, it keeps falling over, so I just laid it down. I'm just gonna lay it down. Hopefully it'll turn out okay. I never done them laid down before, but I think enough of the stuff is drained out of them that it'll be okay. So let me see. Yeah, Joss, I actually, hmm, it's actually a really good idea. Very good idea. Let me try that. You might, you might be onto something, Justine. in another bottle but it's not working <laughs> I'm just gonna let it lay down because I already burnt my fingers about like four times I have no fingerprints now <laughs> let's see it's very creamy red or something I can escape can you tell that? Mm. yeah yeah I thought I just laid it down now so hopefully it'll it'll turn out okay I never had this problem before I actually I've done like a million of these you can ask my mom <laughs> them at our house and like nothing we did like 20 of them in our oven the one day and like nothing fell so I'm doing one one and I'm having a heck of a time with it <laughs> all right so I'm gonna take you guys here to see this all right so I just have it laying down but as you can see all that fogginess is going away which is awesome all right I'm still ticked though that I can't get it standing up <laughs> so hopefully it'll turn out okay all right turn you back around so you might have better luck at doing this than I am today I'm just I just don't have the magical touch today to do my craft apparently you know we all have that right rotating it now sideways rolling it just to make sure that stuff is equally placed out there the kitchen's getting really warm from the oven being on Woo. and my face being in the oven for like 20 minutes isn't probably helping either <laughs> all right let's see here awesome awesome we've got lots of comments today I'm liking it Feels like a Saturday with the comments. I'm digging it. I don't think I stained my countertops, so that's good. That's a plus, right? At least I didn't do that. I'd rather have the bottle ruined than my countertops. My husband probably wouldn't be too happy with me. All right. So I'm gonna clean up some of my mess while you guys are still waiting for that bottle to be done. it's starting to look good and bring you guys down here it only takes a couple seconds after that air hits it but look how nice that looks now that's what it's supposed to look like it's getting there there's still a little bit inside there that needs to go yet but it's definitely getting there now let that air and I should have probably just laid it down at the beginning let it all drip out for a while and then decided to do this but this side here is still foggy so I'm gonna let that air out a little bit more on that side okay but as far as 
turning it upside down if you can that's the best way to do this for some reason it just wasn't working for me today I think the bottle was too too heavy and just didn't have a good tray to set it on so that's what it's supposed to look like it's real pretty after it's all done trust me it's very very pretty <clears throat> I did get food coloring on my counter. <laughs> I see it back here. It was hiding from me. I knew I had to mess up something at some point in time. There we go. I got it. Whew. Caught it quick enough. All right. So I'm just going to put my food coloring away. Um, blue is my favorite color to do with this. But if you guys want to try the other colors, go for it. If you like yellows, greens, reds, go for it. Mix two colors. Get a new color. You know, I think I think it'll be really, really pretty. It just depends on what matches. But I like the old, like, blue-looking glass. Put these back in here. All right. done sorry guys I know it's taking a little bit of time here this one I can't use my hair dryer on unfortunately <laughs> it doesn't work that quick all right so I think it looks pretty good from what we for how much I had it falling over and everything it's it looks pretty decent so over here there is Quite a bit of stuff that still didn't drain out because it wouldn't stay up but this is what it's supposed to look like if you can get it to stay up this side here is what it's supposed to look like this side is just from me having to lay it down so you can kind of see the mistake there that I made but it's still pretty it is still pretty you can still use it absolutely this is really warm so I'm just gonna kind of get some of this stuff off of here while I can But especially the top this is a good time you want to get all that stuff off of the top of here because if not it dries really hard so you don't want to be chipping away at it after you want to get it off right now I'm gonna actually get a knife and cut this off a little bit So you can kind of see that goo on there that I'm just getting off. Mind you, the bottle's still hot, so I've accidentally grabbed them before, not thinking, just wanting to try to get this stuff off, and I've grabbed it before, so it does hurt. Okay. See that big chunk that just fell off of there? So the goal is not to have any of this, any of this on the outside. I keep forgetting to plug you guys in after I take you off of here. Turn my oven off because it is getting warm in my house. Okay. All right. That project didn't go exactly how I had planned it, but it's working. <laughs> Let's see. Yes, Justine. Do you like my? This is my mic. <laughs> I definitely burnt holes in this. <laughs> this is actually. You guys are gonna laugh at me because this is terrible. This is. This just proves. I should not be working in any kitchen anywhere because I was heating up a potato <laughs> when I did this. So, you know, this is what I get for heating up potatoes. I, yeah, just whatever. <laughs> just teen. <laughs> but yeah, that's my cousin. She's just as bad as I am at cooking and baking. So, she can make fun of me. I'll allow it. <laughs> Alright, so it's still pretty warm. I got a lot of that stuff off around that top of the bottle. It looks pretty good. Alright. Other than my little bit of mess up here on this side. 
but that's okay. I think it'll still look okay. That's what it's supposed to look like. If you like, look at this side. Don't look at the other side. Just look at this side. <laughs> that's what it's supposed to look like. It's really pretty. And I'm still going to use it. I think it's fine to decorate with. So now you just want to let that air out. You don't want to turn it over now because you're just going to, you don't want to trap that warm air in there. Okay. So I'm just going to let that air out for a little bit. Let's see here. Let's see, I have some comments here. Sorry, my face is like really up close to you guys today. I'm actually close to my phone today. It's different. Let's see. Oh, I see my dad commenting on this. That's great. That's great. More people make fun of me. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, dad, you'll have to make me a metal rack to hold those up. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Let's see. Yes, Justine, I need a fire suit just doing this craft. I do. I definitely do. I'm not even going to lie. I'm not even going to lie about that. I'm terrible in the kitchen. All right, let's see. Michelle, no, I do not. I do not do that. Um, this is just how this bottle was when I picked it up. I got these in a big crate um, outside of somebody's house on spring cleanup. So that's just how those bottles were. They look really pretty, but this is all, everything that I did today was on the inside of the bottle. Yep. So it's just tinting it and it's using a little bit of Mod Podge, food coloring, and water. That's it. So yep, nothing done to the outside of the bottle. Let's see here. Awesome, Angie. I'm glad you still like it, even though I like messed it up, made like half my kitchen blow up like four times, but you know. <laughs> yes, Jesse, we have insurance. Okay, and calm down. My husband's asking if I have insurance. <laughs> yes, I do. Thank you. We have insurance. And yes, I will get the dog out before I catch the house on fire. <laughs> I can just see all my family members and coworkers like laughing at this video. It's, I'm not going to live this video down today. I'm not. So, <laughs> all right. So that's still pretty warm. I was going to also decorate it today too while you guys are watching. Just something to do. I figured I'll make it last a little bit longer. But I have some cool beads I was going to maybe put around it too. Um, somewhere and some flowers also. But we'll let it dry a little bit more. Not dry, but cool down. It's still kind of warm. It's getting there. That part's still really hot. I'm thinking if I would have left it in longer, that this stuff probably would have burnt. So I'm glad I took it out when I did, because it's at least still blue. <clears throat> Looks good. All right. Oh. I'm going to try to run this under cold water. Hopefully nothing happens to it. Let me try that real quick, just so you guys aren't sitting there. I just cooled that down. I just ran it under lukewarm water just because I didn't want to run it under freezing cold water with it being that hot. So that looks pretty good. Might get foggy again just because I did that, but it should go away. All right. Looks good. And it's cold enough to touch. So it's going to be a little foggy right now, but it'll go away. All right. So now I am going to kind of decorate it. So if you guys just want to watch that, you can. I'll try to keep up on my comments. Alright. So I'm trying to decide what I want to do with this. I might just do a couple little things of this maybe through here. We'll see. 
That should all be dry on the inside. Let me see. So I have these really pretty flowers. Sorry, I'm bouncing you guys around there. They kind of match the blue. I'm just going to put those in there. Just like that. Let me back you guys up. So you can kind of see a little bit better here. There we go. Alright. Hopefully you can see that. There we go. Alright. And I thought some beads with this would be really cute. Just to bring out the white and all the little flowers up here. And I probably will hot glue some of this. I just got to decide where I want it. I might actually put it kind of up here and go down with it. Maybe cover up some of this stuff that I did a mistake on there. So I'm just going to twist the very top of these beads just to get them to stay. And then I am going to go and kind of like we did the twine wrap bottles same type of thing if you guys watched that one that was one of my very first videos that I ever did I think it is actually my first video other than the dresser so I am going to glue that just a little bit oh I unplugged my hot glue gun of course I did all right let's see Spilling my stuff. Put this in the sink. All right. Okay. So I let my hot glue gun warm up there. I did have it warm. I'm gonna still try to figure out. I don't know if I'm gonna like this up here or not. I don't know if you guys are like me. I move things about a billion times until I decide what I want to do with it. I might actually wrap this whole thing in this. Not the whole bottle, but. My beads are just like all stuck together. <laughs> it actually looks really pretty going the whole way down here. Alright, so I do kind of like how that looks. I'm going to just keep going with that after my hot glue gun um, decides to warm up. I'm going to just kind of do the spiral. It'll take away from all that little mistakes and flaws that I have in there. You're not going to be able to really see it. They'll be kind of covered up by the, the beads just a little bit. So I am going to do that. Let's see. Let me see comment wise. My family's still making fun of me. <laughs> Thank you, Justine. Let's see. Awesome. I still have eight of you on here. Good. I didn't lose too many of you. Thought maybe I bored you a little bit. All right. So I'm going to kind of just allow these beads to lay where they want to. My hot glue gun might be ready, might not be. I don't think it's ready yet. Huh, thanks, Dad. I am more entertaining than the news and the virus update. Yes, I definitely am. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, my. All right, there's my hot glue. Finally. So I'm just going to lightly take these beads around where I want them and hot glue them. Perfect. The nice thing about hot glue is it'll come off. So, especially on glass, it's very easily removed. Good. It's going to keep spiraling down here. Just like that. Just to take the attention off of that little um, side of the bottle that I got all that extra stuff on there. Everything's always fixable. Don't ever ever pitch anything. If you mess up, you can always fix it somehow. Oops, maybe as I'm messing this up again. The hot glue is not wanting to stick there. There we go. Let's see. Let's put that one over again. When you 
you could even do this with twine or ribbon or anything you have laying around. I should have unraveled all this before I started this video. I wasn't thinking. I just figured I'd use a little bit of it. There we go. That should get me the rest of the bottle. It's going to go with a little bit bigger of a spiral to get down to here. done. All right. And I'm just going to end this little spiral here at the bottom. Right in here. And I'll put one right down there too. I'm just going to cut this. And end it right at the bottom of the bottle here. Okay. So that looks pretty cool. Looks nice. Looks cute. Kind of hid some of my imperfections when I had the bottle in there. So that's good. But that's how you make one of these. If you guys like it. Hopefully you like it. Um, but thank you for viewing again. Um, tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday. And I am doing... Hang on, let me go grab what I'm doing. Let me think. Mm. I don't know where I put it. It's the succulent garden. It's made out of pine cones and some type of bowl. If you have a bowl or like a long gated like dish or something you can join me tomorrow and the, all the um the list of everything needed for that project is on my facebook or if you want to message me i can send it to you but yep thank you guys so much for viewing thank you for dealing with my like crazy project today that i kept having problems with of course right i did this about a billion times and now i keep today of course when i go live i have the most problems who would have thought, right? <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. If you try this at home, just be careful because, you know, this is, you're dealing with the hot and the oven. And if you're like me, I'm just, just not good at the in the kitchen. So um, if you want, if you have any questions or anything about this project, please just message me. The mason jars are easier to do. I just proved that today with the bottle falling over in the oven so many times. Um, so if you're going to do the first attempt, maybe try like a glass cup or mason jar, something with a wider opening at the top. That way you're not tilting and falling over all the time, just like I was today. Okay. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much for viewing. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. If you do any of these projects, please feel free to post them on my Facebook, um, on the comment sections and you know, and I would love to see it. That That's awesome that you guys are actually doing these with me. It's really cool. I love to see how they turn out for you. So share your stuff. But thank you guys so much for the support and viewing. I really appreciate it. <laughs> and we'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm going live at 10.30 tomorrow. So a little earlier than today. Um, it's kind of like a Saturday tomorrow. That's my normal 1030 time on a Saturday. So tomorrow, which is Friday and Saturday, I'm going live at 1030. Um, Saturday, I'll be doing just, I'm going to be flipping. I don't know what I'm flipping yet. I'm thinking maybe I have a big circle uh, coffee table that I kind of wanted to do. So I'll just kind of be hanging out online, going live most of the day. And then you guys can, can comment and ask questions or bring your project along. Watch me do my video while you're painting. So that's on Saturday at 1030 and then tomorrow is the succulent garden. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much for viewing. Thank you so much and we'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye.